While we are tackling a serious topic now, do you know someone who maybe suffers from addiction or substance abuse? The good news is they don't have to deal with this on their own because there's a very special place in Worcester that's helping out and changing lives. This is 180. One Eighty is a treatment agency that deals with mental health, substance use disorder, as well as domestic violence. We also do community outreach and prevention, so it really encompasses the entire spectrum of sort of behavioral health. Generally, people come to use the services either through uh, word of mouth or they walk in. Um, usually a, a friend or a family member has been through treatment or some sort of services here. People can walk in, they can call, they can go to the website, and generally we can get people into services the same day. I am a board certified in family medicine and addiction medicine, so I did a fellowship in addiction medicine. The reason that I opted to do addiction medicine is because I have been in recovery from addiction for almost 18 years. Um, and so uh, while I was going through my trials and treatment and whatever, um, and I was still looking at sort of um, a medical career, and I was trying to decide what do I want to do with this, um, addiction medicine was like a new um, a newly emerging um, specialty. So it kind of felt sort of destined or like some divine intervention or something happened where I um, wound up doing my fellowship at the same place where I went to treatment five years previously. Patients really like it. They, they, they relate and they'll often say like, I, I'm just so glad to be with a doctor that understands what I'm going through. We span the spectrum of services for substance use disorder. So everything from individual counseling and outpatient groups, um, intensive outpatient, partial hospitalization, all the way up through residential treatment, which would be inpatient treatment. Um, and as far as our inpatient treatment, we have two facilities um, outside of this building. We have a men's facility and a women's facility. The women's residential treatment Center um, is newer. Uh, it houses, I, I want to say, like 20 women, 16 women, and then there's additional beds for children so that if they need to have their children in treatment with them, um, they can do that. We have recovery housing as well. So we have sober houses um, throughout the community. We at 180 focus on the medication assisted treatment. So the treatment is the core. Um, really developing um, people's skill sets, coping skills, stress relief, the ability to deal with life. Um, and we do strive for abstinence. Um, that's the end goal because medically, when we look at the brain, the biology, the chemistry, that's what makes the most sense. Um, but we provide medication that can sort of help guide them through the process of the treatment. There are a lot of people that feel like you're just replacing one drug with another, that you're providing a crutch. And, you know, I always say to people, well, if I break my leg, I need a crutch. If anybody's at the point where um, they're like, enough is enough. I'm tired, I'm sick and tired of this life. I'm sick and tired of doing this. There's no harm in just coming in. Let us help. If we have the ability to help, we want to help. So come on in and, and, and let us do what we do best. We are in Worcester. Um, the main building that we're in right now is the Galt Liberty Building. It's 104 Spink Street. So yeah, call, email, website, walk in. I, you know, Ouija board, send out a carrier pigeon, I, whatever it takes to get somebody into the treatment, that's, that'll work. You can follow 180 on social media or you can check out their website for more information on all of the services they provide. They also invite you to walk in during their regular business hours.